got a steeple key. And we got a letter P. A letter needed to get Mario's name and body back. So, we need to talk to this guy. Squad, what happened to those windows that were just in here? Oh, whatever. Well, it's almost like to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is, no one's real name. Locking me up in here is just because I know it. And making me guard the name, stupid missing letter. No way to treat a parent. Are we gonna crack a duplex? You big man, you don't win my feet in time, Squad! Oh, pretty bird, pretty bird. Okay, whatever. So, we learned his name. So, all we can do now is actually go back where we came. Hey guys, Captain Pal and LP here. Welcome to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, well, we thought we ended the chapter, but we didn't actually. <laughs> because Dupl or I, I should never say his name, but I know the name. It's actually Duplis. If you've played the original Paper Mario, that's what his name, but we couldn't figure... Somehow his P is taken from the text, and we can't actually name him, so... Anyway, let's talk to these birds. I've been really depressed lately. Think about the depletion of fossil fuels. Yeah, tell me about it. We've got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind or hydroelectric. I think solar energy would probably have its greatest potential. Yeah, I'm sure you've been labeled a communist before by Republicans. Yeah. Huh? Alright, whatever. So I was chatting with Rock Beacon in Mushroom Town and his, on Instant Messenger yesterday. And he said he'd just gone fiber optic with his home network. Wouldn't you believe that? Rad, I bet he's downloading 100 meg apps with no problems on those fat pipes. He's probably surfing the Feather Club cro for a cross site at the speed of light now. Yeah, it just blows me away, all this information age hype you hear about. And it's all games Feather Lost sites that are driving the technology. Yeah, but I think it's tech bus survivors can, can thrive if they get viable business models. So basically, you got some birds actually talking shop now. So, let's go ahead and see if there's any more birds that are willing to provide useful information here. So, let's see here. There's one right here. At last, this twilight, wor twilight world is full of pain and contradiction, too full, full of broken dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so I can flee the terror of mundanity, mundanity or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so there's nothing there. That's good info. Let's talk. Hey, Maud, listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, is taking SATs this year. Oh, is that old Ronnie age already? Well, bless my feathers, though. Alright, so nothing important there. Alright. I am close enough, so we gotta get where it's like here, and then we'll go. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb, it makes me want to peck their noses. The only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked under a creepy steeple out here. Because, you know, if no one knows their name, then you can use unstoppable magic. If someone says your real name to you, then your magic will stop working. So, I wonder how this is going to end up then. Did you hear that? If we search under, under Creepy Steeple, maybe we'll find that guy's real name. Let's go to the Creepy Steeple. Alright, so we have to go back, unfortunately. So, let's go ahead and head on back. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. I would have done this back in town, but you know, it wouldn't look very good, would it? You should have. 
So, this is the one who stole your name and body. Hmm, looks sort of familiar to me. Alright, you can cut... Alright, can the chatter. Here's the deal, you get one... You get your chance and I stomp you. You guess my real name, then you get your body and name back. Fire away, no name. Alright, well, we really can't do anything yet. So, let's just go ahead and click done. Because we are not going to get... It. I'm going to tell we get that one letter back, it looks like. Done? Yes. Yeah, wrong Mendo. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've heard this before. We just gonna run away like the end of last time, so run. That's all we can do. Aw, oh, that's no fun, yeah, right. So yeah, he'll keep doing that. He must have been hiding under ambush waiting for you to show up. Well, forget him. Let's go get your name back. All right. So now we got a partner, and we cannot go back to Rogueport and power um, Vivian up. So we're basically she's stuck at 15 no matter what. So, but we will power most definitely power her up whenever we get get back to um, Rogueport. But for now, let's just focus on getting our name and body back. So. I will see you guys in the creepy steeple. Be back in just a minute. I will, first of all, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you her abilities. I guess I got to do that. So let's go ahead and get this person out of here. Um, the veil. Well, first of all, her shade fist. Basically, press the button, it appears, and then she basically, you know, burns them. So that will cause damage. Ah, uh, bingo. Good. So we're a full audience again. Good. And he's gonna power up, it looks like. Aha! You sucker! And she can attack all air and ground um, targets, so that's pretty darn good. But he won't have a chance to... Um, ...do his charged attack, but we want to go ahead and get rid of him. So I'll show you, show you her stylish move in just a moment. Ow. Uh, looks like you're gonna have a wasted item here, buddy. But uh, there we go. Alright, one. Alright. Alright, there we go. Now we can go ahead and proceed. Alright, then we'll show you the other one here in just a minute the veil. It's almost like if you remember um, Bo from the original Paper Mario. Uh, I'll show, I'll be back in just a bit. And knocked us both to sleep. Alright, we're back. Um, I guess that wasn't too bad of a fight. Almost. So. Yeah, I'll see you guys at the Creepy Steeple. Alright, had a little bit of a rough go in that round because um, all the. I ran to the Amazing Daisy. I tried to kill it, but it wouldn't work, so I just decided not to worry about it. So let's keep going in here. Alright, let's sort of... Alright, so we have to push this up. And then let Vivian let it roll down, and then we gotta come out this way. So, yeah. 
Right, there's a shine sprite here. Let's save our game in here too, which is pretty good. Because we almost died, you know, fighting an amazing daisy. You want our crit? Because if that kills you, you know, it's instant game over because it takes 20 HP off automatically. So let's go ahead and go down through here. Alright, so. Oh, there's a star piece back here. So we need to go ahead and turn ourselves into a tube again. And I got Mr. Softener. And a power plus. We got a steeple key. And we got a letter P. A letter needed to get Mario's name and body back. So, we need to talk to this guy. What happened to those windows that were just in here? Oh, whatever. Well, it's almost like I have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is, know his real name. Locking me up in here is just because I know it. And making me guard the name, stupid missing letter. No way to treat a parent. Rawr! I'm really gonna crack a You big mini, you're winning my feeding time. Rawr! Squawk! Ah, pretty girl, pretty girl. Rawr! Okay, whatever. So, we learned his name. So, all we can do now is actually go back. Where we came. <laughs> we heard that. We heard you, little birdie. Duplis. That's his name. Now let's get your name and body back from the meanie. And we'll teach him a lesson or two while we're at it. So, we gotta head on over back to the town. So I'll see you guys when I get back there. While we're at it, I'm going to actually go go try and get the um, question block here. Because if I don't get it, ow! Alright. So I'm going to try and get this fella. And if... There we go. I don't know if she can actually attack it, but we'll see. Ah, uh, can't do anything about it. Repel cape. Yeah, whatever, dude. Piercing blow. Do a charge up, because if you do a charge up, you'll be able to penetrate its defenses a little bit. Try this again. There we go. Alright, I'll see you guys at the creepy steeple. Okay, finally, after beating all the enemies, finally get this, which is a tornado jump. So, excuse me, probably the damage all mid air enemies. So, now we can go ahead and go. Alright, now I'll beat you, meet you back in the town. I guess we'll go ahead and bring it back here. We took a long time just to get back into town, but I tell you, that was well worth it. But now we gotta get, let's get past this and we'll be probably ending the chapter quite soon. Gotta avoid these Goombas because I don't want to fight them. They really are not that great. But here we go. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. Hey, Slick, time to cancel your ma magazine subscriptions, because you're going to get erased. But first, please amuse me with one more guess. This really gives me joy to watch you squirm in futility to try to guess my name. So, hit me one more time. Well, this time we actually have the ability, so we have the P back. Thanks for giving my back my P. <laughs> okay. So, it's Dupless. Yes, sir. Whoa, what? 
What did you just say? It can't be. No, 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 Now it's our turn. Let's get your name and body back. Where would he go to hide? Well, he went back to the creepy steeple. So we're going to get powered up one more time. But I think we're going to end the episode here. And then what I'll do is I'm going to off screen. I'm going to go back to the creepy steeple myself. Because this episode, I have a lot to edit out for sure. So I'm going to get powered up. I'm going to get resupplied. And I will see you guys in the next episode. We'll return to the creepy steeple and fight Duplass one more time. So. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Captain Palin LP, signing off.